what's up YouTube welcome back to the channel we are Thursday March 16th it is currently 2 28 p.m. I have delivered my third order if I remember correctly so my first order was a $10.50 order on DoorDash high paying order apparently so they say it was for a customer I think I've already delivered to a long time ago he was like two miles away and I got this one as soon as I arrived in the parking lot like literally I waited zero minutes for that order that's why I took it because I was like look I just arrived it's pretty good you know I probably would have would have taken it anyway if it was not a high pay order then I came back and on my way back I got a $27 order for Jeannie I've delivered to her too as well um, she's in the hills she's in the house the thing is she she's a bit weird when it comes to replacements basically when you send replacements to her she at first she says okay and two minutes later she says no thanks uh, that's what she did to me last time with the daily stuff and she did it again today so basically she had ice cream bars and they only had like a big jar for that brand so I was like hey do you want this one she said okay and literally two minutes later she said no so I was like all right so I refunded the ice cream and the apple juice because they didn't have any and I just assumed that if she didn't want the replacement for the ice cream she probably didn't want the replacement for the apple apple juice when to deliver leave at my door as usual I think she tipped 12 bucks which is great she's a great tipper the orders the that she has all the time it, it, they're not complicated it's always easy stuff and on my way back to the store I got a $23 order going four miles on Uber Eats and I just delivered to him I actually already delivered to him before and he came to meet me at the door last time and he did the same today I paused my dash on DoorDash because I don't want to receive orders from this place like from so it's the same zone but it's north orders suck and um, the tips suck because I'm trying to you know I'm trying to get my acceptance rate to be at 70% right now it's 16% so I waited like an hour and a half and I got a $15 order on Uber Eats going two miles I have already delivered to her before it's that building that it's, it's a weird building that's it looks like it's a business but it's not the front door looks like it's the, the the back entrance of some weird weird building but I've, I've been there before there was parking right at the front she tipped six dollars which is pretty good because her order was really not that big I mean she did have like a, a dog food log that that's pretty expensive it's like $29 for six pounds then I came back and I waited another hour and I got a $25 order again on Uber Eats going I think four miles ish I just delivered to her she was not answering the messages even though she opened it <laughs> she opened the messages but she did not answer so from that point on I just make the decision to replace she lives in the hills but there is no traffic right now I mean right now there is a little bit because there is a light but apart from that they're like really really far away in the hills there is no traffic there is no it's a quiet street leave at my door so honestly can complain so now it's 6 24 p.m. I think I need to get used to the fact that orders are go probably gonna come later and later and later because of daylight savings so as soon as i came back to the store from that 25 dollar order i got a 12 dollar order high pay order on doordash and it's for celine i've delivered to her in the past my only issue is there is no parking in front like we can't park in front of her so it's like an apartment but it's on the ground floor it's like you know um purse like it's like a house that's divided into an apartment so but she says to park in the driveway and the the reason why i say that it's because she had two packs of water and she had a a pack of uh, a 20 pound bag of ice i think she tipped three dollars i didn't even check I don't even check anymore the, the tips. I just check like the, I mean, I check if it's like a zero dollar tip. I just look at the overall. Oh no, she tipped five dollars, so my bad. It's 7.09 p.m. right now. Okay, so I accepted and delivered a $13.75 on DoorDash. 
I've delivered to that customer before last summer and then I guess his order I've I don't see it any, I didn't see it at, at all anymore because of that diamond order program again like all of the orders that I used to do I you know I was like where are the orders of my regular customers now I can see them um, so it was for eight bottles of seltzer water for Arizona's and something else I don't remember what it was so the seltzer water was out of stock so we had to replace and then I think that's his son he's always like doing some stuff in the car at the front so then he gets the order so I don't even have to do anything and now I have accepted a $22.50 on DoorDash for Target which is just right there literally I think I've already delivered to that person too So this drop-off is done. It took me 30 minutes from start to finish. I had to push hand it to customer again because the app was glitching. So basically you upload the picture and it, it just it just loads forever to infinity. Then I have to force stop the app, upload the picture in the chat as if I was sending like a, a message to the customer, and then put hand it to customer. It's insanely Hiring at this point here again. That's that's DoorDash sending me an order Screen is is all white this space 1450 duration 26 minutes So it didn't even take me 30 minutes. It's 823 Since I'm really close to the store. I'm gonna go back. All right So as soon as I arrived at the store, I got a $15 order high paying order on DoorDash for 1.8 miles I think for another customer of mine that I, I didn't see his order for a long, long time, again, because his order was probably in the diamond program again. He is three minutes away. I had to four stop the app four times. I don't know what to say. I think it's, it's really like tiring me to do this. Not the shopping and stuff, I'm used to it. Just the simple fact to have to four stop the app 50 times a day. And I'm not even exaggerating at that number. While I was shopping for that one, I got a $19 order on Uber Eats for two items and uh, it's going five miles into the hills, but it's it's pretty, you know, it's almost 9 p.m. I was like, eh, whatever, I'll just do it. I was getting out of the elevator, going back to my car, so the parking lot is empty. There are like five cars in there and obviously some dude arrives and, and parks literally next to me. Like, please. Please, if someone know, please let me know. I, I, I wish, I wish, I, I, I would like to know why this behavior all the damn time. Okay, I was not expecting this delivery to be that far. It was going five miles, but so far into the hills. I don't think I've ever been... I think I've been that far once. It was a leave at my door, but the front gate was locked. So I rang the doorbell and he came out. It's 9, 19 p.m. I'm going home. As I was hoping, I passed the store and I got a $20 order on DoorDash. Going six miles, but it's going. it was going towards my house. So I obviously took it. She tipped $7, which is pretty good. And it's literally five minutes away from my house. So it's 10, 10 p.m. right now. I'm finally going home. I'm gonna turn off DoorDash, by the way. Still at five star ratings. Completion rate is at 99% because I unassigned the, um, I unassigned the $14 order the other day when it was raining. On time rating keeps going up and up and up. I've been working on it. It's so slow to go up. <laughs> It literally goes up like every order, it's like 0.01%. I just passed 89% on time. I remember I began last year, I was at 84. So see how long it's taking. My acceptance rate is 17%. Hopefully we can be at around 50% next week. So at least I can, I can keep uh, the diamond orders, having access to the diamond orders. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.